you that I got myself a date with a beautiful woman named Rita, and you're the chicken, not me. Cluck, 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 cluck. Okay, that's a pretty good chicken. What's the problem? I know what you were doing back there. If you've got half a brain, you'll leave it alone. You're talking about back in Wee Britain? I was just asking a few questions. Yeah, a few too many, if you ask me. How would you like someone going after some stupid person in your family? Now, back off, you ponce! Wow. Dad was not kidding about their breath. Michael had just been threatened by a foul-mouthed British man. It's Michael. I'm not dressed. Job, this is Michael. Shouldn't you be getting ready for your free bird trick? I can't get the rights to free bird. Huh. I'm thinking about calling it free, I don't know, chicken. I thought you were investigating Dad's sinister British connection. Yeah, I uh, tried, but uh, when I was leaving, one of those British guys came after me and told me to back off. I can't believe it, but Dad may have been telling the truth. This might be dangerous. So you came back here to hide like a child. What are you doing locked in my office, exactly? Hiding from a child. Big difference. Job, Steve Holt is your son. He probably just feels a connection. He doesn't know what he feels. I'm tired of being told. My God, what is this feeling? You know, the, the feeling that you're, that you're feeling is just what many of us call a feeling. But it's not like envy or even hungry. Could it be love? What an erection feels like, Michael. No, it's the opposite. It's it's like my heart is getting hard. Maybe I am ready to be a father. Hey, Dad. Oh. It's my son, Joe. You know, and what is it with the fathers in this family? Always trying to deceive their... And that's when Michael realized that the man who threatened him must have been hired by George Sr. I'm the patsy. Well, I gotta go. George Michael? I'm sorry, but we're gonna talk about that girl later, okay? Now all I have to do is find that lookalike, Michael. Michael confronted his father. Find out anything? Yeah, I did, Dad. I found out that no matter how many times I promise myself that I'm not gonna fall for it, I always end up getting hustled by you. What are you talking about? The guy that you hired to threaten me after I looked into the British connection? Wait, 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 wait. Somebody threatened you? It's a wonderful performance, Dad. You're a regular Brad Garrett, but I don't watch TV at 3 in the afternoon, and you can forget about pleading not guilty. Guilty, we gotta plead guilty. What? Michael. I didn't hire anyone. I, 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 I swear, if someone came after you, they're, they're for real. Come on, are you serious? I told you, these, these are bad guys. They, they, they do not want this information out. You said that he was going to come after somebody stupid in our family. That could be Buster. Could be Job. You're not guilty. We have to plead guilty. We got to plead guilty. We got to throw ourselves on the mercy of the court. We got to get Andy, Andy Griffith. Griffith in the suit. And Michael went to cancel with Rita. Sorry, I, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be needing your passport after all. We're just going to go to court, plead guilty. That'll be that. So it's bye-bye, Teresa, then? Yes, I'll shake your hand goodbye, but actually, I was wondering if, I, if you might want to. I wouldn't. I'll make you blue. Rita was just talking about the finger paint, but Michael didn't know that. I was just wondering if you might want to bid me fair morrow. Michael was filled with self-loathing. Had he been Jack the Ripper, he would have soothed himself in a most unsavory way. But instead, he just sat in his car and ate a whole thing of candy beans. <laughs>